What's going on, you guys? So I'm with the Lenovo Think Center. This is the M900. I'm gonna be tear down. So I'm gonna be using the Philips head and a flat head screwdriver. They'll be screwing it back. And you're gonna slide to the left. First, I want to remove the front cover basil. It's just plastic. So if yours like this locked, you're gonna click on this. This is for the optical drive. So you're gonna take this plastic and move it to the left. Then you press this clip right here. Then you lift this up like that. And disconnect the SATA and power cable. And we just take a gently finger like this and it slides out the plastic caddy. This is a, from a three and a half inch to two and a half inch solid state drive. So what I would do is, this is the fence route to remove the plastic piece. Now what I would do is remove the VD card. So you see this right here doesn't come out, so you're going to take a flathead screwdriver like this and gently lift this up. So to remove the VD card, there's a little clip, you got to press it down, okay, then you can, you can pull it. And this is right here, you guys have to take your finger right here, and you got to press it down. If you can't do your finger, then you got to use a flathead screwdriver, just like that. You see that? It's it's closed and now you're gonna open like that you press on it with the screwdriver if you can then you're gonna pull the video card you remove the PCI brackets This is a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so three, four, five. It's a eight. It's a ten pin. Looks like a ten pin, and it's a wire for the power supply. And the CPU power right here, four pin, four wire. I'm gonna go in the back and you gotta remove the screws here in the back. supply you see that clip right here you press it down it's gonna slide to the wall right there's a clip right here you gotta press it down then you're gonna slide to the right this is a 200 210 watt power supply it's pretty small
now what you need is a napkin and you're gonna wipe down the thermal compound from the CPU. What I'll do is I'm gonna remove the RAM. Disconnect the SATA cables. See that over right here. So you're gonna take this. corner here's the front panel header for the power switch right here front and remove the, the fan here. It's an 80 millimeter fan. Got the rubber here that you have to remove. So you see the flathead screwdriver. And right here you're gonna move the the USB. And it's got a flathead, so you're gonna use a Phillips head. This is the power switch. And you will need a flat and screwdriver to remove it. This is the Internal speaker. So what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the motherboard out. To do that, I'm gonna start from the bottom here. Here, are, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven screws. You have to remove. Okay, so there's one, also two screws here in the corner you have to remove.
double check. Two, three, five, six, seven. And actually it's eight screws. There's one here in the corner. You see that right in the middle? That's another screw right there. Also, move the CMOS battery here. I'm gonna pull the motherboard out. So if you do that, I'm just gonna lift it up like this gently. And it'll come out. So you guys are asking what kind of motherboard? This is a micro ATX. It's got a PCI Express times 16 slot, the top one. This is a PCI Express times one. The bottom one is actually running that PCI Express times four. This is the bottom one times four, don't forget. So it's got four DDR4M slots. This is for the CPU power, for the power, CPU 4 pin. This is for the front panel header, USB ports. And look at the back side also, two display ports, VGA serial port. Got six USB 3.0 ports, giga, giga LAN port and audio. And look at the back side. And we'll move the CPU, the last part. And this is for the this is for the system fan here for the back. This looks like it's for the front system fan. And it looks like there's another one for your system fan here. It's got the four SATA ports. And has a mark in here for the SATA 1. This is for the main boot drive right here. SATA 1, you see that? SATA 1, SATA 2, SATA 3, SATA 4. And this is for the CPU fan header right here in the corner. And this is the model IQ1X0MS Lenovo. See you guys to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.